Hello everyone. For this session, I'm going to show you how to calculate the effective resistance when your resistors are connected in series or in parallel. Now let's take a look at the circuit on the left side. On the left side, you look at two resistors, 2 ohms and 3 ohms. Now before we determine whether it's connected in series or parallel, we have to identify first the current flow. So on the circuit on the left, current flows from the battery through the 2 ohm resistor, through the 3 ohm resistor, and then back to the battery. Now when you look at the whole path, you realize that the current flows only one path. And because the current flows one path, this is and this is a case where 2 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series. And when resistors are connected in series, just apply the formula Rs equals 2 plus 3 equals 5 ohms. How about when resistors are connected in parallel? Let's look at the diagram on the right. How do we know the resistors are connected in parallel? First, we identify the current flow again. Current flows from the battery. This time it reaches a junction. And at the junction, the current splits. The current flows through 4 ohms and arrives at another junction. The current flows through 12 ohms and arrive at the same junction as the current that flows through 4 ohms. And at this junction here, which I'm drawing is a very big circle, the current recombines back to the battery. So based on this, we know that 4 ohms and 12 ohms are connected in parallel. And so we apply the formula for resistors connected in parallel. And that's 1 over Rp equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12. Now, I have to caution everyone here. The common mistake made by many students. And I'm going to show you now what's a common mistake. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12 equals 3 over 12 plus 1 over 12 equals 4 over 12 equals 0 0.333 3 ohms 3 SF that will be the final answer by many students yes you can spot it you realize that it's wrong but this occurs because of a bad habit that I even have and that is I didn't continue to write the full equation. So in the case of effective resistance in a parallel connection, if you don't write the full equation, you will not know where you went wrong. So I'm just going to cross this out. This is wrong. I'm now going to show the proper working at the top. 1 over Rp equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12. Now note 1 over Rp, your effective resistance is in the reciprocal. So I continue to write 1 over Rp equals 4 over 12. And therefore, Rp equals 3 ohms. So once I write the full equation, I'll remember to do a reciprocal at the end to get the effective resistance across a parallel connection. 